hundred things you have not dreamed of wield and sword. I keep hearing something. Did you hear that? Yeah. Sound like a guy down there somewhere. The dude was still there like two hours later. And In it the was, same spot? Yeah, he was literally just like this. He was like... I'm pretty sure all he had was like a cell phone fight. There's something moving. You hear that? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay. It's a truck. That was weird. Yeah. Well, that car is going straight towards that it looks like. Okay. That I'm not sure of. Or is that the same dude? I don't even know. I can't even tell right now. Oh, that looks like a car now. Right? It does It does look like a car. Is it coming towards us? Oh. oh, yeah, that's definitely a car. There are actual bones. Oh, yeah. Like, like visible. Like we can see them. Okay, I'm a little nervous now. Dude, they know. You think that was. You right? know they know exactly which room we're in, right? I think we need to get the hell out of town. Yeah. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Randonautica adventure here in Texas. A lot of you guys have been asking us to do some brand new Randonautica videos. Uh, we've taken a little bit of time off, probably since when? Like the beginning of this trip, more or less? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the only time we've done Randonautica so far was in the Catskills of New York, um, and that was a while ago. Uh, so we're actually currently in Galveston, Texas, uh, kind of took like a sort of a mini break vacation, just kind of, you know, relax a little bit because we've been hammering it out, doing long ass drives, a lot of late nights investigating and, you know, preparing the content for the channel for you guys. But uh, we've decided we're going to start doing Randonautica from here on out. So we're going to be kind of going like back and forth in time frames so you might see some stuff from texas and then you'll see something from missouri and then you'll see something from new mexico for example and then you might see something from texas again so nothing's going to be in an exact time frame we're just going to be kind of bouncing back and forth between randonautica adventures and haunted adventures just to keep y'all interested so texas has been fun so far what do you think so far oh Frank? yeah it's been a blast it's been a lot of fun uh unfortunately we're pretty much heading out tomorrow i don't know if we're gonna actually get out of texas by tomorrow but we're gonna be heading west into the desert and things are already biting my ankles of course uh so yeah <laughs> we decided uh to run a point that one was from becky g i think it was what the hell was that do you hear that yeah, that was big right there. that was a big thing still moving yeah that was a big thing. Well, it did say that there were there, alligators here. Definitely alligators here. We know that much. Um, so thanks to Becky G for bringing us into alligator territory, I suppose. <laughs> uh, she suggested new beginnings. That's got to be maybe an alligator. It has to be. But where is it? I feel like it's right there at the shore. I know. It sounds like, like it's... Oh, those oh. fish just jumped jump oh, out of the water. It? Yeah. Oh. Cool, I saw that. You seen that, I right? If, yeah. I don't know if the camera picked that up, but no. yeah, so it brought us to a point which is supposed to actually be across the street. It looks like there's kind of like a trail or something, but. These bugs are crazy here. Yeah, I want to kind of see what's on this side since we're hearing all sorts of <laughs> movement. Fish are jumping out of the whole yeah. water. <laughs> we should probably be as vigilant as possible. Uh, snakes since, and alligators. Since there are alligators, snakes, uh, there might be one if we look hard enough. I mean, maybe. You got the best light Hello? for it. Hello, alligators. Oh, oh, there's another fish the right there. There's a whole them. bunch of them. What the hell? They're fish, right? I, I mean. I think. Yeah, that's, that's definitely. That's gotta be fish. That's definitely fish. <laughs> Damn, they're pretty big too. Oh, look at them go. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because they're like attracted by the light all of a sudden. I think maybe it's there's like. One, there's something moving there. You see that? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, it's coming this way. Yeah, oh, it was. That might be a snake, actually. It could be. Okay, so our Randonautica adventure has turned into <laughs> us watching the wildlife <laughs> roaming <laughs> through the water. Uh, yeah. Honestly, I'm really loving Galveston. I would totally come back here um, when it's hotter, just so that way we can enjoy like the ocean. Yeah, it would be nice, and yeah. the winds are going to be in a different direction. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about the winds. Well, that's what the guy said anyway. Yeah, so, it's been right? really cool. It's it's what I'm finding cool is that 
Um, first of all, the people are really chill here. Super nice, super friendly. Um, like most of Texas, I don't think we've run into even one asshole. No. Really. We've no. made some friends nice. uh, back at the Goatman's Bridge, uh, which you guys are going to see a crazy ass video of that place soon, probably. Um, but yeah, it's been nice. And not to mention the food's been great. Galveston's like an awesome mix of uh, good, you know, history, fun things to do and see, lots of scenery. Yeah. You can go into the city. There's the seaport area. Then there's the beach area. Hey, get out of here. Uh, uh, my head keeps getting attacked. <laughs> yeah, there's like a yellow thing. Kind of looks like a. Fl oh, it is, is a, a flashlight. flashlight? Yeah. Oh, some on the barbecue? Yeah. <laughs> there's something in the barbecue. What is that? What is that? <laughs> it looks like a doll. <laughs> okay. Uh, it is an ever ready. Maurice was here. Leave him alone. Okay. okay. Ever ready lantern to connect contact wire, turn head clockwise and remove. Slide battery. I'm hearing something over there. Yeah. Oh, there goes, oh, another, there fish goes another fish. <laughs> Why are they jumping out? Like I don't that? know. Oh, there it goes again. <laughs> That's Sorry hilarious. guys, I don't see it on the camera screen here. Oh, there's something down there. You see that? That's I think that's an alligator. Oh, right look down it. there. Did you see it? It closed its eyes. No. You didn't see it? No, I didn't see it. Let's see if he pops his head up. There he is, yeah, you can oh. see it. Yeah. That's a gator, all the way down there. Stay there. I mean, it has to be, just like the where it's at. Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe there's just a feeding frenzy going on. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so fish are like, yeah, I've been watching these crazy videos on uh, TikTok. I showed Frank earlier today. I can't remember what the guy's name was, Fishing Garrett or something like that. Mm -hmm. Dude, this guy's got some balls. This guy goes into the Everglades at like 12 o'clock at night. Apparently he's like a professional like animal wrangler or something. This guy just grabs random snakes and uh, he gets like within a few feet of gators and stuff like that. These are poisonous snakes from what I, I, I no, think No, the one, he knows which ones he's looking at and a lot of the ones he was grabbing, he'll just mm -hmm. be like, yoink. And uh, they're, they're non-poisonous. So we just have like an empty flashlight. How do you even make this thing work? What the there's hell? just a random contact, what? but there's no. I've never like, seen that before. Yeah, there's no innards. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's missing for whatever reason. I guess I don't know. You hear like a person? I heard someone somewhere. Yeah. Is there a little light down there? You see that? Down where? Down there. There was. There was a little. There? E well, it might have been a reflector in the distance. I'm not sure. But Maybe it's just a gator crossing the road. I don't know. Which could be scary enough, to say the least. Well, yeah, at least we got a lot of room to maneuver. <laughs> okay, so what is this exactly? I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Kind of funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is kind of funny looking. You should grow a beard like that. I wish I could grow a beard <laughs> like that, to be honest. My beard doesn't grow that great. <laughs> uh, Okay. That's so random. Be so careful in oh, the water. Yeah, there's oh, something yeah. right there. I couldn't tell if it's a fish or a, a snake, sir. Or your... We're gonna get slapped by a fish. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Look, there's funny. a bunch of things there. Look. Oh yeah. As soon as I shine my light, they're all going crazy. Oh, yeah. oh look, a bunny. Oh yeah. Hello, bunny. Hey, bud. <laughs> Blinding him. <laughs> Okay, um, so I guess maybe we'll just go to our point and see what our new beginning is. Oh, look. Oh, he's got a baby. Oh, yeah, he's a baby. He's a little bunny. baby bunny. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Well, you never know what you're going to see on the adventures of Angelo and Frank out in the <laughs> middle of... There's random bugs everywhere. Oh, they're huge, <laughs> some of them. Yeah. Oh, look at that thing. Ooh, there you go. What is that? Looks like those June bugs. Oh yeah, home. probably is a June bug. Maybe a June bug or a stink bug. Yeah. If it's a stink bug, do not crush it. What happens? They smell. Oh, they just okay. That's I guess why the name. That's why they're called <laughs> name stink bugs. All. <laughs> Hello? Is there anyone in there? Careful, a snake might jump out at your face. <laughs> it is a risk I am willing to take. Okay. So for one. Let's see what we're what we're dealing with here. Yeah. This place is pretty big. 
Well, I guess I have another reason to come back to Galveston because it looks like I gotta explore some stuff. I don't even know where we are right now. We're here. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's uh, stop getting distracted. Yeah, but it's too fun. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think our ADD is kicking in. So our point is like here somewhere. It looked like there was a path on the Google Maps. You know, during the day, there really isn't that many bugs. No. Well, now I mean, it's we, like... are, we are shining our lights now, so it's just making it worse. But keep in mind, we're also in a state park, right? So yeah. we've got a lot more wildlife. And it's probably the beginning of the season for bugs Everything. and critters <laughs> and God knows what else. It's mating time. Gators. Oh. What? Something just smoked oh. me. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. Okay. Oh, something's here in the grass. Where? I just heard something move over here. Just be mindful. Of bugs? Uh, no, I don't something. think it was bug. Yeah, probably a snake. Could be. Honestly, after watching that dude's videos, I don't really feel that scared of snakes anymore. Yeah. Until we actually see one. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this? <coughs> Look, me. something's in the water right there. I saw something move. Oh, yep, there it is. It's all sorts of... Hey, back off, bugs. <laughs> you got the brightest light. They're coming for you. I know. <laughs> but they don't realize that they're going to get, like, burned to death because that thing is hot like a freaking laser. What the hell is this thing? High Flight by John Gillespie Maggie Jr. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and I danced the skies <laughs> on laughter silvered wings sunward I've climbed and joined the trembling mirth of sun split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of wield and sword I keep hearing someone did you hear that? Yeah. Sounded like a guy down there somewhere. There's no one like parked here apart from us. No. There's like a flashing light, but that's just a hmm. fixed light down there. Uh, oh, I just looked right at that flashlight. Oh, dummy. High in the sunlight, <laughs> sunlit <laughs> silence, hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft what the hell up up the long delirious burning blue i've topped the windswept heights with easy grace where never lark or even eagle flew and while with silent lifting mind i've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of space put out my hand and touched face God, things are biting me. We should spray like next it. time. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have some. Okay, well, that's really random. What's the back? Ever heard that? It says, well, 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 well. Welcome, welcome. God, 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 God. Good, 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 good. Wood, wood, wood. <laughs> sacrifice, sacrifice. Beyond, beyond. Plot, plot, plot. More before more. Oh, I don't get it. What the hell is that even supposed to be? <laughs> Dude, that's a. Look, Look at this. Is that a bottle cap? Yeah. Or not a bottle cap. It's like uh, the, the tab. opener tab from a, like a can. A can tab is what I meant to say. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is a new beginning. Um. <laughs> a new beginning to our Randonautica adventures <laughs> here out in the southwest of the United States. I think things might uh, might get a little interesting. I mean, yeah. So we also had. Um, we should start walking back to the car because now that we're close to the water. Oh look, a crab. Oh yeah. Well, what? what oh, it's a blue crab too. Yeah. A mud crab? I think they're called mud crabs. Hello, are you alive? I don't think so. You want to pick it up? I don't want to pick it up, but I want to touch it. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Something got it. Yeah, um, so something weird happened last night. Is it you? 
Oh, is that me? I'm sorry. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I was like, wait, where's that coming from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought there was like a boat or something, but I didn't yeah. see any lights on the water. Oh. I think that was my, uh, make sure I'm awake alarm. Oh. Uh, um, <laughs> So yeah, something really weird, and we should probably go check it out a little later on, but last night, um, we got back relatively early, and from our, like, balcony area, because we have a apartment, essentially, there was this dude with a flashlight on the beach, just pacing back and forth. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do. So I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of weird, and then... Went back in, just kind of chilled out. When we went back out, or I went back out, the dude was still there like two hours later. And in it the was, same spot? Yeah, he was literally just like this. He was like, I'm pretty sure all he had was like a cell phone light. And it was weird, it was, I was about to get up, I was gonna go grab the night vision camera because I can zoom right in to people with that thing. And as soon as I was like started recording on my phone, yeah. he just decided to leave. Oh. all of a sudden so i don't know i just thought that was a little bit strange i don't know if the guy was just mentally ill and he was just pacing back and forth on the beach for yeah. some reason um and then also not to mention that there has been this camper parked on the street for three nights now and i'm pretty sure when i saw the guy walk off the beach he went to a truck that was parked directly behind it and then just randomly left hmm but it's just kind of strange because you can't park on the street at night. So I don't know. Yeah, it's I have a no weird. idea. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that, but we might as well check. It is our last night anyway. So we can, I guess, kind of check the spot out and see if there's something of interest there. Sure, I guess. I have no idea, but uh, we'll run another point and uh, see where else we end up. I think maybe we'll probably do one more in here. Um, I know the bugs are really horrible. Oh God. They're so, so annoying. But yeah, maybe we'll go a little further in, try another point somewhere and uh, yes. see where else we end up. So we made it to our next destination. Um, we're gonna be using the intent from Kimmy Cat. She said, the meaning of life. I like that one. I like that one too. So I don't know, it's telling me that it's like down there somewhere. Um, apart from that, it looks like it's just water. <laughs> <laughs> from what I could tell anyway. That's a lot of kayaks. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. Okay. This says kayak launch. No parking. <laughs> it's like random black rocks. Yeah, it looks like it just goes to water. Oh yeah, it's like a little dock. Yeah. Oh, there goes oh. the fish again. Yeah, more fish. What's that noise? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, a little beach. Yeah. This is pretty cool. No alligators though? No. That's sad. I want to no. see one again. No alligators. At, the, at this moment in time, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I might skip it. Okay, so what does this have to do with the meaning of life, <laughs> exactly? I mean, all life began with water, maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Hmm. Without water, there's no life. But there is coffee. But <laughs> coffee. need water for that too. Coffee is life. Is that in Chinese? Oh yeah. So we ran a point before this, we were actually using the same intent. Um, it's weird though, because it was telling us to like go down here somewhere, Bad. but for some reason the road was closed. Yeah, I was going to say, can't see the map because yeah. you're in flashlight. So we couldn't actually even go down there anyways, but this looks like a cool area. It smells fishy. Mm. All I smell is the spray that you just put on. Oh really? No, I smell fish. Whew, that stuff is strong. It's better than getting eaten alive. It's a bunch of RVs and campers over there. Okay. Is there any other areas? There's that thing. Oh yeah, I didn't re even see those RVs and campers. <laughs> Looks like water over here. Is it water? Oh, oh no, it's dry. For some reason I thought <coughs> it was... It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's when we deceiving. were sitting in the car, it looked like it was just water. There's something there though. Oh yeah. Huh. 
down there looks like water. It might be. It's hard to tell right now. This is a fish cleaning station. There's something moving. You hear that? Yeah. Hello? Alligators? I mean, I bet you they could be right here in this brush and we'd never know. <laughs> in here? Yeah, you never know. No, nah, you'd see them. You'd see their eyes. I mean, if they actually were looking at us, you would yeah. definitely see their eyes. Okay. Ah, June what? bug. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's chasing you. <laughs> Screw up, bug. <laughs> what is this? Weird. Let's just take this over here. <laughs> <laughs> just to ensure we don't get attacked or eaten by something. We could look at it here at the fish station. Oh yeah, it's even got like a wash and everything. Yeah, That's pretty cool. That is kind of cool, actually. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. That? It's like a metal for something. The tennis or? I don't know. I think so. Maybe. Something like that. <clears throat> First place, GBD Boswell JV Invitational. Got a, what looks like a jersey. Oh yeah. Rockers. Must be like a, I want to say 10 year old kind Maybe? of size. I uh, got no idea. Rockers, baseball. I mean, I said 10 because I seen 10, so. Okay. <laughs> Puzzle pieces. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like somebody just said something like over that way somewhere. Oh, what the hell? There's no one there though. I know. The only people are like down there. There's a bunch of RVs. Weird. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey. Ooh, that's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> Invading my space, dude. Yeah, it, maybe the sound is just resonating from those people? I couldn't tell ya. Okay. There's just literally just a bunch of random there's puzzle pieces. No, nothing at all. I mean, obviously there's something. Well, I, I mean, other than the actual puzzle says itself. Shin. <laughs> yeah, literally just ocean, I guess. Mm, that's strange. I don't even know what Boswell it is. I mean, it's obviously a place. Okay. Um, well, whoever left their bin with a jersey and their metal and puzzle pieces, it's right here in Galveston. Especially um, a first place medal. Why would you leave that behind? Right? <laughs> that I don't understand. I'm telling you, sometimes you find like the weirdest This is kind of cool. Mm. That garbage can's probably full of dead fish. <laughs> probably the nasty guts I've been smelling. Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll move somewhere else. Yeah. And wait, what the hell was that? I just thought I saw something move down there. I'll just leave that there. Yep. Okay, see, and I heard a voice from this way. Now you thought you saw something move. Yeah, but it wasn't like an animal or anything. It actually looked like a, a human. See? Wait, wait. Here's something. Okay. 
Okay, but why would a person be in there, though? I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Hello? <clears throat> Weird. Yeah. I don't know. That's strange. But I just heard a thump there. Should we get closer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe not too close, but... Well, if anything starts snarling or growling. <laughs> I don't know. That definitely wasn't an animal, though. That yeah. was... Legit a person. Where the fuck did they go? Okay, um, I guess we'll get a move on. There's not really much, I'll, I'll, like, other space in this park that we can actually go to anyway, so I think we'll completely relocate to another area, maybe one that's a little less buggy, yeah. um, and just see what else we find. Okay, so, um, Ray and the Next Intent. This one is Strange Encounter from Jennifer Adkisson. Ad Adkison? Okay. Yeah, Adkison. Um, yeah, at first I was thought it was just bringing us to like the side of the road and then we turned our lights and there's this thing. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Are we gonna have a strange encounter at this random little piece of yeah. land? Something just bounced off my chest. Something bounced off your chest? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the hell it was. <laughs> Probably just more bugs. Yeah. Is that like plants growing off of yeah, it? Yeah, there's like stuff growing off of it. There's like purple stuff on the top. What is that? I don't know. Ooh. Okay. It's there's like some it. sort of monument thing. Yeah. There's also a calendar. <laughs> uh, Termin Road to San Luis Pass. There we go. I can actually read it better now. There we go, yeah. Uh, 1954 to 1956. Dedicated in memory of DJ whatever. I don't know who that is. Uh, in God We Trust. Okay. Well, if you guys want to read it just on your own, maybe a quick little... Yeah, it's just a bunch of names. County officials. Yeah. There's a uh, car coming. <laughs> maybe this is our strange encounter? Uh-oh. Okay. There's this calendar here for that's so random. Yeah, make a wish calendar. West Galveston Island. Okay, so they just stopped? Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Yeah. Oh, oh there we around. go. Okay. Some okay. truck. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Bye? Okay. That was really weird. He just like pulled in there, stopped, and then just turned around and left. Okay. He took his time with it too. It wasn't like he just. Yeah. So we got West Galveston Island, first known to world historian, 16th century, from a report of Spanish soldier Cabeza de Vaca. Something's moving in there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Humane and civilized traffic afterwards found its way here. Stagecoach service was established in the 1850s from Galveston. June. At least it's current. Yeah. May. Oh, April's got stuff written on it. What am I even looking at? PB. C A N slash U S A April second C S New York fourth K P New York five Winma seven Buffalo New York eight Pittsburgh Pennsylvania and Austin Texas Dallas Texas and then Gal Texas eight <laughs> it's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, you literally landed on my shirt. Oh, oh it was right yeah. in the face. Jeez. Okay. You pissed that one off. This one, this is really weird. Yeah. No, no, like it's actually... What's the date today? Today is the 
20th, almost the 21st now, because it's like almost 10 p.m. And then we, wait a second, I think I'm guessing why you're saying it's really weird at this Yeah, point. I'm just checking something. Okay, that's weird. Um, on this date, we were in Winchenden, Massachusetts. Oh, and it says when? Yeah. Oh. And the day before that was when we went to Kings Park. What the f***? Are these our exact travel days? Yeah, on the 7th was when we were in Buffalo. Holy crap. At the Iron Island Museum. The 8th, <coughs> we were in Pittsburgh. The 9th, we went to Springfield, Missouri. And then we got to Austin around the 12th. I remember that. Then we went to Dallas. Sorry. And then we went to Galveston, which is where we're at now. What the f***? Uh -huh. Dude, literally no one knows that info. And it's got these eyeball things. Okay, that's f creepy. Uh, is there anything else in here? Apparently, April 29 is World Wish Day. <laughs> so that's coming up. And then the first couple of months, January, February, March are all missing. Completely torn out. What the? F Dude, that doesn't make any sense. Like, literally no one knows our travel itinerary. Just it's, us. Yeah, which I don't even know half the time. Because <laughs> I, mean, I don't know half the time. <laughs> Some things just kind of happen, right? Uh, what? That's so weird. Oh man. Okay, well. Okay, so somebody knows our travel itinerary and literally left this right at the point that we're supposed to come to that by chance happens to be strange encounter. I would say that's somewhat that's of a strange a little, encounter. That's a little bit strange, plus that truck decided it was going to pull up at some point. It's almost like it was watching to see that we got here or something right? like that, yeah. And it's definitely not the first time that that's happened no. before. No, that's why I mentioned truck, because it's always a freaking truck. <laughs> Well, now I'm curious. If we were to run the same intent, let's see here. If we were to run the same intent, where would we end up? That's what I want to know. Well, and will, would we have a similar experience? I say let's find out. I also say let's find out. Man, these bugs are just like really annoying tonight. Yep. So, strange encounter. Allow your mind to manifest. Breathe and focus. <laughs> Waiting for it. I'd say the strangest encounter so far was that dude last night. Yeah. No true anomaly available. What? There huh? isn't any true anomalous experience in your radius. Try again momentarily or try increasing your radius. Okay, let's try this again. That's weird. I don't think I've ever heard you say that. It happens once in a while. It's happened before. We've had it happen before. Have we? Maybe yeah, I just don't remember. Yeah. Allow your mind to manifest. That's taking awfully long. Okay, we got something now. It is showing something at the end of this road. Yeah, so apparently we are at the Galveston Island Historical Marker. So we'll have to go there and see what the hell is there. Alright. So, um, that's interesting. We just arrived literally up the roadway here. And as soon as we get out of the car, some random person shows like up. Flashing I don't know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. There's 100% someone there. 
<laughs> That's so weird. Right? I mean, it well, looks like they're heading towards us, actually. Are they? Yeah. Let's just wait and see for a second what these people do. Do they have a fire? Is it just me or do they have a fire? I don't know. I can't really. I just when I saw a fire there for a second. What are they doing with their light though? I know. And you can see it happening on the camera too. Yeah, it looks like they have a fire. Oh, now there's another car coming. Okay. <laughs> what is uh, going on here? Surrounded. I don't know. Oh, man. Well, that's interesting. Uh, okay. Just have your guard up, though. Huh? Just have our guard up. Yeah. Whew. No. Uh, is this like the hangout spot for locals around this area or something? Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't look like a threat. Uh, it could be. Well, that car is going straight towards them, it looks like. Oh, the hell? Oh. Is that gunshots? That I'm not sure of. Is that a fire? What the hell I is that? I think they're having a fire, yeah. I'm very confused right now. Yeah. So our point is literally like on the other side. I know it's really hard to see me right now. Because um, we're just trying to be a little inconspicuous and see what the hell is going on over here. But our point was like down there closer towards where the water is. Let's just see what these people do when they get out of their car. <coughs> if they get out of their car. Yeah, they might just be chilling for all we know, but, or they're watching us. One or the other. One being worse than the other. Yeah. <laughs> Way worse. Well, I mean, it's a little concerning that we found that calendar that had everything, everywhere we've been yeah. over the last two weeks and a bit. So, I don't really know. I don't really understand what that might have been. I don't know. I have no idea. It looked like they had a fire going because I could have sworn I saw embers, but I'm yeah. not 100% sure. Weird. Well, I mean, I guess we could still walk towards our point, just kind of keep a lookout See just in case. Yeah. Whoa, what was that? It's almost like a flat, like a. Well, it looks like they're welding. Almost. Oh, you did that actually? actually Right? You're right. Is someone welding something in the dark? Really? I mean, the flash. I mean, yeah, realistically, that... you don't need light to weld because no. you just wear a mask anyways. I mean, you you can't see what you're welding. Yeah. Well, no, you actually dark. can't see anything when you're welding. Until it sparks. Yeah, but even still, you still can't see anything through it. You just see where the light is. You're yeah. just doing it by feel at that point. I mean, maybe you're right on the welding. Hence why the light is so freaking bright. And flashing. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, okay, the dude's definitely like welding something. Hence the metal bangs. What the f I'm glad it's not gunshots. Yeah, I feel a little bit better about that now, but okay, I guess we'll head towards our point. That's really, that, that literally is a strange encounter. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. dead on. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna grab some water first because I'm like, Pacey, but we'll head down to our point in a sec. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. I just heard like a scream. It's really out of place. So there's a bunch of like signs on this, these posts. <laughs> the bugs got my legs. Oh, you got bit? Yeah. Ah. Uh, state park boundary. So, is that side the state park? <laughs> I, I'm kind of confused. That's where we heard the scream from. Yeah. That's apparently also where we have to go. That's interesting. I don't know. 
I mean, I did buy a ticket <laughs> from the state park, the other side, but. Yeah. Oh, something here. What's that? Oh my god, for a second I thought that was an eyeball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? That'd be messed up. Now that would be a creepy find. Okay. Maurice. Is Maurice a genie? Can we get a genie in a bottle? I don't know. Transit wishes. There's something in here, but... Like liquid? Wasn't the name at the other place? Was it the same? I On the so. flashlight, I think? I, yeah, uh, I think so. Put it with an M, that's for sure. Yeah. There's definitely something in there. There's somebody in Oh, they said somebody in there. It smells uh. weird. I don't know. Like so, alcohol or? I don't know, I can't quite tell. It just smells odd. Ooh, there's a little bug crawling on it. Autumn Fest. St. Monica Catholic School. Oh look, the same name. Oh yeah. What the f Okay. Hello. All right, Maurice. Uh, Mr. Leaving your stuff all over the state park, apparently. Weird. I mean, can we continue that way? I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. So, this has been a very strange one tonight so yeah. far. Uh, I mean, who's really going to say anything if we go past there? I mean, we're just walking. With, yeah. Like, I mean, we can go a little bit. You just hear some alarms go off out of normal. I know, right? <laughs> Like clearly somebody drove over here. What was what is that on the floor there? Where am I looking at? Right. Uh, that, that thing? Yeah, is that I don't know. Or is it just garb uh, like uh It looks like it's just seaweed or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's or, like part of a plant. Oh <laughs> Portuguese man of war! <laughs> no! <laughs> that one's like still fresh. <laughs> it's gonna like explode in our face. So he's those, saying that because I popped one. Before. <laughs> yeah, those things are like creepy. They float like on the top of the water. They're the weirdest yeah. jellyfish I've ever seen. You got like an air bubble in Yeah. There. Apparently they're very like, or I don't know if they're poisonous or they sting really. They hurt. Yeah. Apparently it hurts like a mother. So good to know. Maybe that's why a lot of people don't go all the way into the water. What is that? Oh, just a okay. random cap of some sort. Okay, there's like not really much out here, to be honest. So where did we hear that scream from? I mean, it sounded like it was this way. Yeah, it sounded like it was <laughs> further down there. Oh, I saw something. I could have sworn I saw like eyeballs or something, like a glare. Could have been uh, anything. I don't know. Foggy yeah, it's seriously. Okay. What is fog coming down? It's weird. Uh, Spooky. Well, there is a storm incoming. That's By true. 1 a.m., it's supposed to start lightning and thundering, but hopefully I'll be back at the apartment by then, <laughs> drinking and doing other stuff. Yeah, see? There was a flicker of some sort down there. I don't know if we should go down there. What is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't even know if I locked the car. <laughs> yeah, I think I locked it down. What is that, just like a giant rock? Is it a boulder? I have no idea, it looks like a boulder. Or a log? Oh, might be a log. Oh, okay, wow. It's literally just a log. Okay. Well, it did say we had to come to this side. The only thing we found was that hat and that 
bottle, both from the same person, with the same name that was back over there. I don't know. <laughs> we ran into somebody welding on the beach. A truck showed up. Oh, a f***ed up calendar that apparently has all of our dates. That car that parked over there. Yeah, hence the reason why we kind of took a little bit of a break from doing this because it's been just getting crazy with the between the things that we've been finding, the weird encounters we've been happen, having. It's just non-stop. So, I, I don't know. We need to learn how to clean up the garbage off the beaches. I hate yeah. to see that stuff. Well, keep in mind it's been really windy too, so yeah. things are kind of like blowing all over the place. But yeah, there's nothing there's really. uh, nothing else that I can tell. I don't know. I saw some flickers down there. It kind of looked like it was maybe just an animal's eyeballs. Yeah. I got no idea. What's that noise? Do you hear that? Yeah. That was a weird noise. It was like a rattle or something. Yeah. Yeah. I thought maybe there was like a car or something, but there's clearly just her car. Here it is again. Oh, I think it's coming from the guy down there. Oh, it might be. He's like probably cutting something. Could be. Okay, but what was that? Strange. Everything's strange. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. I feel like we're being followed. I feel like watched. that too. I don't know. Like, I mean, it's like, dude, no one else knew where the hell we were supposed to be at what times. I purposely, a lot of times you guys say, like, don't tell people where you're going, but. Most of the time, it's just kind of like a, a broad, like, oh, we're going to Texas. It's not exact. Yeah, it's like, Texas is a pretty big place. <laughs> like, it's not small. But somehow, someone knows our itinerary and is leaving us a calendar where, where we go. That's f***ed up. Yeah, that's a little messed up. But, okay, I guess we'll head back to the car. I might try one more point, maybe with the same intent since clearly it's working. See where we end up. Yeah. Is that a vehicle? I there? think it is. Yeah, it's like, or is that the same dude? I don't even know. I can't even tell right now. Oh, no. That looks like a car now. Right? It does. It does look like a car. Is it coming towards it? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a car. That's definitely a vehicle. Okay. <laughs> what? What is going on right now? This is weird. This is very weird. I feel like we're gonna get trapped. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's just get the f out of here. Yeah, bro. Okay. So uh, we just ran another intent, and uh, the last one was kind of a dud. So it brought us to like this other spot, all the way on the other end, and there was like a whole bunch of people fishing and stuff. So I didn't really want to go and bother them with like bright ass lights and stuff like that. Um, so we didn't really film anything there. Uh, we just got our next point and it decided it was going to bring us to this interesting looking cemetery. Uh, I wonder if this cemetery is has to do with the Great Storm. So basically back in the, I think it was 1900, Galveston was hit by a huge storm, hurricane. Uh, all the water obviously came in killed about six to eight thousand people so i mean there's probably like you know bodies buried everywhere essentially <laughs> for the most part uh and then eventually they built the seawall which now stops the water from coming in and destroying everything and they also like raised the city up so that way it's higher uh, which is a crazy project yeah <laughs> that that they did i actually learned that today when we went to the thingy that uh house that we went to yeah um 
it is actually said by 1910 was when they did the project of raising the city and building the seawall. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, apparently we're supposed to have a strange encounter here. What is this? For some reason, I thought that was just like a uh, hole that yeah, goes no, right in. There. Maybe they're just protecting it. Maybe. I don't know what it what it is, but... This is some crazy looking... I've never seen this before. Tombstones, personally. yeah. Just like how like wonky the ground is. Yeah, well maybe from, like you're saying, Hurricanes maybe if it was. Hurricanes and floods and stuff floods, over yeah. the years. Well, these ones, this one says 1929, so. So it would be after. Yeah. Wow, she was young, holy. How old? This one was, uh, she was 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't really see. This one's 1924. They're all exactly the same. Yeah. So the sign said municipal cemetery. So I guess that's like the more basic cemetery. I don't want to make that like sound bad or anything. But no, yeah, I know what you mean. Cause I like every single grave is identical. Like they all have this circle thing. Or yeah. That's interesting. I've never really seen anything like this before. I'm curious as to what this building was though. I'm thinking some sort of like yeah. storage maintenance. There's build. stuff there. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was probably storage back in the day. They probably have like the gardening. This looks like an stuff. old abandoned building. Ew, what is that? Ew. Did somebody drop a deuce? Ew. They literally did. Somebody oh, actually. Oh yeah, there's all took kinds a... of bugs and everything in there. Ew. Oh, that's nasty. That's gross. But why is there a picture here? I don't know. Oh, that's gross. Ew. We're just gonna. Ew, it's filled with bugs. Back away. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so nasty. Uh, okay, let's let's just go back over to this uh, cleaner looking thing. Thing, yeah. What is this all about? Is that like bolts yeah, there's a bunch of like Maybe this is an old like there. post or something. Why is there a random picture of like a tree? Maybe this is somewhere in the cemetery? Uh I don't even see a tree. <laughs> uh me neither. I mean there might be there's a bunch down there, so I yeah. think. I don't know. Can't really tell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, something in here. Yeah, it's literally just a random Is picture that writing of a tree. On it? What's that on the No, it's oh, just, it's just numbers, the... yeah, just like the printing numbers. Happy Lunar New Year. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's something. Oh dude, it's Maurice. What? Yeah. That's, uh, so we've been finding this dude's stuff everywhere. We keep finding the same name all over town in different areas. Uh, it says, I've been here for so long. It's hard to carry on some days since she left me. I'm so mad these days my brain can't accept normality anymore. I swear if I see one more person here, I'll lose it. They have no time left, Maurice. Okay, that's not a nice message at all. No, it's horrible. That's mean. <laughs> Happy Lunar New Year. Isn't the Lunar New Year like Chinese? I think so. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, Maurice. Uh, so you decided to leave your picture of a random tree and you decided to take a doo-doo next to somebody's grave. That's pretty nasty. I really hope that wasn't Maurice. <laughs> I, uh, well, it was a somebody. That's gross. Uh, okay, so, I mean, since we're here, I mean, I guess we could take a continue walk around. looking around, see if there's anything else. I don't know what kind of strange encounter we're supposed to have, apart from apparently Maurice's crap. Uh, that's gross. Or somebody's crap, anyways. That's disgusting. You guys all know I have weird, a weird infatuation with cemeteries, so... But they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> I find a lot of like the ones in the south are super unique. When we went to uh, the Bonaventure Cemetery, yeah, that, was that was really something. cool. This? There's something there. There's literally a... Looks like a... What the heck? Oh, geez. These <laughs> bugs are like... So These bugs big. are stupid. They just like fly <laughs> towards the light, but they don't even actually get to the light. It's like they go towards it and they just get totally confused and then just smash into things. This one came to say hi to you. 
<laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> How you living? Yeah, it looks like a, almost like a tomagot. Or no, I think it's just a stone. Oh. Yeah. Well, might as well keep looking around. It does kind of look like a tomagotchi. Though. It <laughs> does kind of look like a tomagotchi. I'm not gonna lie. Oof, this one got. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Well, luckily it's just dirt in there. <laughs> I thought I just heard somebody walking over there, but where? That way, but there's Down nobody there? there. Like I thought I heard like the rustling of the grass. Oh, okay. That's why I turned around. But yeah. I guess not. Damn. There's so many and they're all so like close to go. Oh my God, look at that one. That was oh. destroyed. Wow. It's horrible. I actually feel bad about that. Like, I mean, headstones what are you going to do? Broken yeah, that down. one's broken. That one's broken. I mean, they are pretty old. The, oh, they're very old. They're almost a hundred. So. Like this one, this one's so old you can't even <laughs> read it anymore. Whoa. Damn. This one, wow. So it's interesting how they do it. There's no like casket or anything in there. Do you think so somebody was just buried like body wise in there? I highly doubt it. They would have had to put it. Well, I mean, it could have been feet. like, it could have been a, so if it's a municipal cemetery, I'm assuming it, that means it's most likely funded by the government for people who maybe couldn't afford. Okay. Like the other one, there is another cemetery down there. Maybe we'll pass over there. There was a, a crypt that actually looks like it's collapsed in on itself. Right. Like that's wild. I actually just need to see that. Um, but if it's a municipal cemetery, I'm assuming that would mean that they would have probably used like just basic wooden coffins. Okay. Yeah. So, which they also use for people who <clears throat> get cremated. Because I remember, because my grandfather was cremated, and I remember we got to see him before they obviously cremated him. Yeah. And he was in just like a basic wooden box and just like white, like wrapped up in like white sheets. Right, right. Basically. So, I'm assuming it would probably be the same. <clears throat> I could be incorrect, but it. I mean, it's a good thought. It, it? makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah, there's like a bunch less down this way. There's like interesting things attached to these, though. Yeah. What is that? Like just a candle or something? Shell? No, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. 1942. What's this one? Okay. Yep. 19, or what's that say? Nin oh, yeah, it's 1942 as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we will take a little drive over to the other section because I'm curious as to what that section has. What's this all about, though? Oh, this one's interesting. Pretty good condition compared to some of the others. So, this is George W. Strode Sr. Cool. Yeah, there's uh, I don't know. I just find cemeteries peaceful, and they're like you said, they're unique. Yeah, right? they're really so, unique. Okay, let's head on over to the other one and see what that one's all about. Cool. Okay, so uh, we were just walking back, and Frank spotted this one. He's like, "Oh, you can kind of like see in there." So I shined the light in. And I, we can't show you guys oh. everything, so I mean, all of this is going to have to be blurred. But there are actual Bones. remains, yeah. like, like visible, like we can see them from here. Unfortunately, we can't show you guys that, but I mean, you can tell how deep down it goes. Like that's that's crazy. That's not good, man. You can't leave that like that. That's messed up. Look, at it's a. Uh, I think they were a, a soldier too. In wow. 1950. Yeah. 801 Pioneer Infantry, World War One. Yeah, they were literally a yeah. soldier during World War One. That's wild. Yeah, Galveston uh, Municipal Cemetery. You gotta get together and fix that because that should not be visible like that. No, it really. It's shouldn't. not the first time I've seen an open thing like that. Right. There was a. Uh, I don't want to say exactly where it is because I know a lot of people like to go there and they've been wrecking the place, which is super disrespectful. Um, but there is, a, it was an abandoned crypt and we managed to actually get inside of it. Not a crypt, sorry, a mausoleum. Okay. And this place has been abandoned for years now because the family died and no one inherited it and it just literally became abandoned. 
and a lot of people obviously started ripping the greaves, the, the stones off the walls, pulling so angry. caskets out. There was literally one loose, big loose casket of a dude just sitting there on the ground. And uh, there was some that were open that you could visibly see the bones. Um, it was pretty messed up to say the least. And that's kind of reminded me of that. So, okay. Um, I feel bad for Harold over here, but thanks for your service. And uh, we're going to head over to the other area down that way. Okay, so we made it to the other cemetery. This is what I spotted. Oh, yeah. That's... Uh, a mess. Yeah, quite literally. How did yeah. that even happen? There's nothing around to like no smash idea. into it. This side is uh whoa. Oh. What the whoa. heck? Yeah, it looks like they've been doing some work here. Okay. Maybe That's... that wasn't a tomb. Uh, or uh no I don't I don't know. Thing. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Stones everywhere on the floor. What the hell's going on in this place? I don't know. Holy crap man. <clears throat> is that open? No, it's boarded oh, shut. It looked like it. <laughs> it probably was opened at one point. Is this all marble? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. I don't think it's Ooh. marble. I think it's something else. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. That's kind of cool, though. 18, was that 95? Yeah. Wow. It's a shame that it's like broken the way it is, though. Yeah. It's so I'm curious to see, like, how old these gravestones are. 1931, 1941, 1918, 1899. Well, at least this section's not as bad. <laughs> yeah. Like at least they're covered properly, right? Yeah, they're not all caved in and all. Well, yeah. I mean, back there there was whatever. But yeah, those ones were really bad. Wow. What's that one? It looks like there's one caved in the ground over here. That like Where? stone. Here. Is, like... I think just the ground is. Oh yeah, just some. Just maybe. really unsettled. Yeah. Whoa! Look at those crypts down there. Ooh. Those are kind of cool. Did you just hear that? Yeah. I don't know what that was, but. I don't know. It's not like a, almost like a girl saying something. Yeah. Someone spoke. I mean, I mean it is a cemetery. I was just probably, <laughs> probably spirits. Who knows? Wow, look at these ones though. This one's got a tree growing through it. <laughs> Holy moly. This one's definitely yeah. uh, in rough shape inside. Is oh. it growing through it or over it? No, it's literally oh, going through it. Wow. Yeah. yeah, what the hell? I guess it just it found a little hole and yeah. branch came out. That's wild. So this one was open too. Look, they sealed it. Yeah. Look how broken, <laughs> how cracked it is. I wonder how old this one is. Oh, look, a gecko. Is it? Oh, yeah. Right there. Hello, gecko. Hey, bud. How are you doing? How are you doing? Are you trying to get inside the crypt? Oh, he went in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he literally went inside. Rude. He's like, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> got some. Uh, this is really cool with the lights. Yeah. These are nice. There's still nothing like Bonaventure. That place is just. That was just surreal. Too cool for school, really. Whoa, look at this one. Howley Oaks. Damn. I mean, we were told that like the weather here gets crazy, a little crazy sometimes. So, mm. um, but I'd still buy property here. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's, uh, this one's so oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. This one, 2020. Uh, oh yeah. Not long ago. Yeah. Hmm. Kirk, Ronald Nash Jr. Wow, they went all out. They got the nice little stones. Yeah. Cool looking flowers. The June bugs in there are having a field day. Nice. Hmm. Okay. That's a really nice like uh, headstone too. I've never I seen like one that. like, well, I've seen one similar, but not as detailed as that Where one. Where my uh, 
where my grandfather and my uncle are buried they have a bunch that are like that yeah they're actually pretty cool yeah there's more see oh yeah there's some down there that's cool i like that because it's uh it's very unique okay um i guess we'll head back to the car all right that was crazy though i did not expect to find bones tonight no all that things. was interesting yeah so i guess we could literally say that we found human remains while using randonautica it is official yep. i've been waiting for this day to happen <laughs> and it finally happened i mean inadvertently obviously but yeah <laughs> it still happens oh my gosh <laughs> Oh, you never know what you're going to find sometimes, right? Well, that's the whole point of exploring. Yeah. But uh, tomorrow we are out of Galveston and we are going to be heading basically to the desert. We're going to head towards Arizona. Uh, we'll probably make a stop over in New Mexico for a few days. Probably do some randonautica, some other exploring type of stuff. Um, I'm not too sure yet. I'm still kind of in the midst of planning it out kind of as we go along. I do have a lot of uh, possible locations that maybe we can even do some, some ghost stuff to. I don't know, but uh, we'll see when we get there. All right guys, so uh, we decided to come back to the apartment uh, because it is about to storm like a mother... Something. Something. I got uh, the warnings. <laughs> yeah. Um, the wind is picking up. It is super humid. So once it starts raining, hopefully it'll actually break the humidity and it'll actually uh, feel less freaking sticky. But yeah, so basically, um, I kind of wanted to go down there because what I saw last night was just super weird. Yeah, the guy with the flashlight in circles. <laughs> yeah. So for one, uh, let me actually just lock the car just in case. Yep. Okay, we're good. Uh, so basically, there's a camper over there. That camper has literally been there for three days. Like I said, you're not supposed to park on the street. It, there's, there's signs everywhere that say between like two and five. I don't know if there's like exceptions. I have no I don't idea. I think so. I didn't see any signs saying otherwise, like right? call and make, you know, whatever. But like, what's weird, is there anybody even there? I haven't personally seen anybody. Right? Go like we've been chilling on the balcony quite a bit and we haven't really seen anybody come in and out of the RV. So I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, and then last night, we saw the guy roaming around, pacing back and forth on the beach. So I kind of wanted to go there now. Let's just try not to get hit by any <laughs> yeah. vehicles or people on bikes, apparently. <laughs> Don't kill me. Hopefully the tide didn't come like all the way up and then we can actually uh, still get down uh, there. It looks oh, fairly yeah, it looks good. good. Yeah, yeah it's, it looks it's good. good. We can get down there. So it looked like the guy was like down there somewhere yeah i mean maybe I mean, he lost it, something i don't know maybe i don't know maybe but it was he, a long time like, yeah he was there in for the a, same spot like hours <laughs> he wasn't in the same spot though well, it was like, like it was like of. he was looking for something it was, it was just strange I, I don't know maybe the guy was randonauting like we are right now and we're just doing exactly what he was doing i have no idea but yeah the rv is there maybe we'll like yeah. I don't know. I don't see anybody there. <laughs> You're going to scare the crap out of them with that light if there was. <laughs> well, I mean, he's kind of scaring the crap out of me by just being, being there. there for literally three days since we got here. Yeah, actually, you're right. It's basically since we got yeah. here that he pulled up. You're right. Yeah, and it's funny, too, because I'm pretty sure the night that we got here, I was standing out on the porch and he, like, had pulled up. Like I saw, I'm like, oh look, there's an RV. Like that's yeah. cool. I literally <laughs> joked, I'm like, oh, that's a cool spot for an RV. You're literally right by the ocean. Dude hasn't left since. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <he's> special. <laughs> Maybe I have no or idea. Or got a lot of tickets. <laughs> okay. So far, we got a napkin. Mm -hmm. We also <clears throat> just uh, did another point, and it brought us to a cemetery. Uh, you guys have probably seen that already on the vlog channel. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, it depends. Maybe it's coming up. But yeah, we made a pretty startling discovery at the cemetery, to say the least. Yeah, that was a little. Cryptic, that was a we'll bit say. much. I don't <laughs> want to get into too much detail, but you guys will see on in that video. I don't really see anything. I mean, it has been like almost 24 hours now. Yeah. 
so I'm not really expecting much. I just don't remember how far in he was. I don't remember either. That's the problem. Like, it like might be where the looking tide is from now. up there. Like that's where we're staying. <laughs> Our apartment is up there, and uh, looking from up there, it doesn't seem like such a big area. But once you get down here, you're like, oh shit! It's really wide. Yeah, this is a this is a big stretch. So I don't know what uh, what we're gonna be able to find. Maybe he's shell collecting? I don't know. Possibly? Maybe. I don't know, man. I'm trying I was thinking the same thing. Maybe. But okay. Why at night though? If you're <laughs> yes, for one, <laughs> why, why at, at night? night? But like the dude was literally doing this. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I don't look at things on the ground going like this frantically. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying like I don't want to make fun of the dude, because maybe he's just got a mental illness. And he just decided to come to the beach and he was, you know, just doing his thing. Yeah. Maybe he's got like a form of Tourette's and he was just had a tick or something. I have no idea. Right? So I don't really want to speculate too much, but at the same time. I mean apart from the rain coming, it's a beautiful night. It's really it's humid. Yeah, that, it's that. very humid, which I don't mind. I like the humidity. Yeah. Well it's about to be really dry for us soon, so. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really see too much. Mm. Otherwise, we're, honestly, we're just going to be out here for hours trying to find something that might not even be here anyways. <laughs> yeah. Apart from... Wild goose chase. The washed out sand castles. So I guess the tide maybe does come all the way up to here. It must, yeah. Huh, okay. Alright, well... Is what it is, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of... Texas for us at this point uh, We are going to be heading to New Mexico, Arizona and then Colorado and then most likely just home after that uh, There's gonna be a lot of driving <laughs> And Arizona you said too, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I included that. Did you? I only heard Colorado and uh, New Mexico. Yeah, I know I said New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado Maybe I didn't say Arizona, but I'm pretty sure I said it. Maybe it's my fault. Yeah, maybe <laughs> Oh man, for a second I thought there was somebody standing on the stairs. <laughs> that tripped me out for a second there, but um, yeah. So it's gonna be a, a long journey from here on out. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of driving involved. This guy's a champ when it comes to driving, guys. Uh, I don't mind. Driving's just driving. You still deserve credit. I mean, we credit. stop along the way. But yeah, dude, like, not even a light on or anything. Yeah. Just. Yeah, that's true too. Actually, you right? make a good point. Like even at night, I've never seen a light right? on. Right, like there. it's not never been night. on. So if they're staying in the RV, why do they not have a light on? Maybe they ran out of fuel. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they just said screw but, it. But like, there's a gas station. Like just like you can see it from here. <laughs> the gas station. Maybe they're broke. I don't know. I'm speculating at this point. Okay, but that's like a that's like a hundred thousand dollar freaking RV. RV right there. <sighs> Grab my uh, stuff out of the car. I gotta go pee. Yeah, I gotta pee too. I gotta really pee. But um, yeah, let us know down in the comments below if you guys would prefer to see more Randonautica or more Haunted or maybe just a balance of the two. I like doing both. Yeah. Just by personal prep. What the hell is that? What? What the? Okay. What? What's a 7D? 7D? Yeah. I don't know. What would that be relevant to? I don't know. Oh, dude. What? It says Maurice, I think. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, look. Shut up. Wow. What the hell? We got another metal? Which is... Run. It's like a dog, dog thing. Yeah. yeah, that's a weird thing though, because it's got like a a foot, like a human foot with wings. What? Yeah. Okay. okay really. What the hell is this thing? Oh, there's like paper in there. 
Oh yeah. Is that milk? Oh, okay. The whole thing apparently comes out. I thought you broke it. <laughs> yeah, I thought I broke it too. I think this is for flowers. Oh yeah, when yeah, you like when you put like a rose stem yeah. in there. That makes sense actually. <sighs> okay. Oh, I got oh. it. I did not <laughs> expect that to come out. I got it though. I was gonna say use your key, but. This is my home. Get out. Get the F out of my home now. Maurice House, leave now. What? The f Maurice House. Okay, for one, who the f is this Maurice person? That's a good question. For two, how the f does he know where we're staying? This is messed up. Do you think he just followed us? Maybe? I didn't see anybody following us though. I, I didn't like either. no cars or... Well, I mean somebody put that there. I mean, well, yeah, we know that much. So... What the f***? I mean, how would we really know somebody's following us at the end of the day? We have to kind of pay attention to that. With traffic and people and stuff, the like, there's no way. And why the f*** do we need? I mean, we are leaving tomorrow, but... Okay, <clears throat> that's a bit weird and concerning. <laughs> well... You want us to leave, Maurice? We're leaving tomorrow, like you just said, so... Uh... Considering the they know... Did you see that? Yeah, I did. It was that person came out and, like, and stared at in. us and then just went right back in? Yeah. Okay, I'm a little... nervous now. Dude, they know... You think that was You Maurice? know they know exactly which room we're in, right? E e oh, because the parking thing. Because the parking... The stupid parking ticket... knows... says... the. Oh, do you think that was Maurice that was just standing up there at, at the doorway? I don't know. I didn't get like, a good look at he them. He stopped and stared and then yeah. backed away. Um, okay, well, I think we're probably... I think we need to get the hell out of town. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I don't feel comfortable now. <sighs> I mean, them knowing exactly which apartment? Yeah, f*** that. That was weird as all hell. Um, yeah, let's, let's pack our things and get the f out of here. Yeah, I agree. Okay.